Welcome to uh, another beautiful day here on the Sound. Very calm conditions. I think I see some rain there on the surface. So we're going to try a new spot today. It's a little far, maybe two miles. So it's about maybe 45 minute hike. But I want to try some new spots. And you know, fluke season's closing up here, so I'm gonna have to try a couple new things. So we'll see. This new area seems promising. It's a pretty steep ledge, and there's some rocks at the top, so it's kind of what you like to see. Yeah, catch back in and we'll get out to the spot. We got our first porgy. Yeah, it's a nice one too. Porgies are aggressive. And you can catch porgies on artificial baits. And there's some hungry, hungry little critters down there. It's definitely like a, I don't know, 14 inch or maybe 13. And they almost always hit it on the fall. Like right now they're nibbling at it, right? That's why you gotta be quick. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. These are nice porgies. Really nice porgies. Mm, it's a 13-inch thir porgy. the underwater down and I checked the footage <clears throat> I had a bite I checked the footage but it's uh, it's too cloudy so I think it was a porgy anyway but um so I'm just gonna fish on out to the deep well, not the deeper, but the further out spot that I think might hold some more fluke. This is rocky. And then the rocks get less and the ledge gets steeper. And that's where I'm going to try and see if we can find some fluke. So I'll put the underwater down out there. And see if it's any better. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just this outgoing tide. It's, it's very hard with outgoing tides near near inlets or you know where, where the sound meets the bay it's uh, it's pretty nasty water I think it's you know there's a lot of people that come out here and fish porgies with clams and I think 
after a while, some of those bigger ones start to realize, unless they're really hungry, it's not worth trying to eat clam out here. I always seem to catch big porgies on, uh, on gulp or artificial type presentations. I won't get as many, but I'll, the quality will be better. These porgies are huge. Look at that, they just keep getting bigger. Squirgy. Definitely getting some more porgy bites, I think. Dang. Oh my goodness. These porgies are so strong. Dang. Huge porgies. It's crazy. Like that, little gold shrimp. Alright, so there wasn't much underwater footage on this trip, um, but here you're going to see just a couple porgies. This was the first area that I tried, and it was it was all porgies. Got a couple bites on this bait, but they were definitely more uh, tuned in onto the gulp. You know, the bottom is pretty similar to what I've been seeing, so no big new surprises in this area. And uh, for this next clip though, you're going to see it's pretty cool, a fluke there on the bottom. And then, see, and then you're going to see porgy and a blackfish. Here's the blackfish coming up. So pretty cool to see a fluke, blackfish, and a porgy all in the same frame, basically. Still getting more bites with the gulp shrimp. There's just a lot of porgies. That's just like a sea robin, I think. No oh, porgy.
there ever was a day to need to catch porgies, today would have been the day. I mean, I'm catching them with everything. Jerk sheds, and they're big. And one problem is this wind is picking up a little quicker than I expected. And I got a two mile hike back. It's almost 9.45. Thought it wasn't gonna pick up until noon, but it feels stronger. And so I think I'm gonna head back. Didn't get too much underwater footage up here, but we'll see. Maybe some of it came out. It's pretty dark though. This outgoing tide crushed it, so we'll see what happens. This spot's definitely great. I really like this spot. I like this area. A lot of porgies. And I'm sure at certain times of the year there's probably bass in here. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back if it's calm, but has to be calm because I have to cross a big a big open area. I gotta go all the way back over there to that land which is like oh, kind of far. It's a fluke I think. That's a fluke. No way. They are still around. You'll be all right. The head gets ruined like that. Just cut it off. Sink the hook a little deeper. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna want to watch all this. It's just gonna be like this for probably an hour. All right, catch back in. About halfway there. I'm gonna show you how nice of a day it is. Making progress. About halfway there. Can only go like two miles an hour. The current's helping us, but the wind isn't. So the wind's going this way. The current's going that way. The wind is always stronger. This is bass, maybe weak fish, maybe weird head shakes. Very weird head shakes. What? 
the biggest corgi <laughs> I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. What? Oh my Sixteen and a half inch porgy. <laughs> it's an absolute monster. Gosh. Baby Kook, this thing is like money. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Everything wants this copper penny and jerk shed right now. Porgy fests. Take line. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. It's an absolute beast. It's a 16 inch, 16 inch porgy. All right. You know what? I'll eat it. Porgy that size is a good meal. Sometimes you gotta take what God gives you. 
probably won't be this kind of hot bite again, you know? It's crazy. I've never, never had a big porky day like this. This is just crazy. Oh my goodness, it's every cast. I wonder if the guys using clam are catching like this. That's a fluke. Bite is on, baby. That's gonna do it for today. A lot of porgies, good sized porgies. 16 and a half inches, 16 inches, and a bunch below that. So that was the bite that was on. A couple flukes, small flukes. But uh, yeah, maybe it was the tide. But it's a, it looks like a pretty high tide up in here. But they were. Corgis are on the feet, anything I threw at them, but the copper penny jerk shad, I think it's five inch, was definitely the best for the big ones. And then the gulp shrimp was definitely the most consistent for the small ones and didn't really matter which color. 